How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I am okay. Better now that you're here. Yes. You beat that fucking traffic. I did. And now we have <laughs> alcohol. Um, this is Drink Responsibly with Rachel Paulson. I am here with... Erin Darling. Erin Darling. <laughs> that is her real name, you guys. That is your real name. Yes. Your last name is Darling. It's kind of... Yeah, it's ridiculous. I love... It's not ridiculous. It's the best. I love your last name. Um, anyway, have you ever made a cocktail before? I have, yeah. I like making margaritas. Oh, uh, you're in luck because we're making a margarita. Yes. We are going to make a prickly pear margarita. That sounds incredible. <laughs> it is incredible. Are you good at following directions? Yes. Like, sort of? I'm very good. Oh my god, I'm excited. No one is ever good at following directions. Really? Okay. Cup. Cup. Lime. Lime. Rim the glass of the lime. Okay. I mean, no. Rim the cup, the rim of the glass. Dip it in this concoction. What is that? I can't tell you, then I'd have to kill you. Okay. It's like a tahini salt. Oh, tahini is my favorite. Is it? We were like dating, this would be yeah. perfect, even though we're not, because you're straight and I'm not. So it's fine. Um, have you ever had this tequila? I have. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, you gave me a bottle. Oh yeah, I did <laughs> give you a bottle, that's right. We had been drinking this, we so maybe had. you don't remember. But I do now remember that I gave you a bottle of Avion tequila. It is, <laughs> in fact, all organic. They put no fillers in their tequila, which means you could literally just guzzle it. Ooh, I mean, great. I wouldn't recommend that because it's, you know, still tequila. But uh, it's really good. Very sweet. <gasps> okay. We're going to be using the Reposado today. What does that mean? Oh, uh, Reposado. So it's just about how long it's aged. So the darker it gets, the more it's aged. Ooh, okay. This is the middle point. This has a little more of a darker, richer, more caramel flavor. Mm. So um, to cut the sugar a little bit, I want a little bit more of like a bite and like a flavor in the tequila. You know a lot about this tequila. I do know a lot about this tequila, <laughs> yes. We're gonna do two ounces of this tequila, which is literally to the top of this beautiful jigger. Okay. Take that. Keep going, keep going. Perfect. There we go. Pour that bad boy in there. All right. Well done. There we go. So now we're gonna take lime juice. All right. It's a ginormous thing of lime juice. <laughs> So I'm just gonna pour it, we're gonna flip the jigger. See, jigger flip. And you're gonna go to the first, you'll see a little line on the inside, the first line, go to that. Okay, okay gotcha. You so, are following directions really well. I'm trying to do a good job on this show. You are doing a good job, that's perfect. Okay. That's good. So how did you, is this like a recipe? Like how did, what's the story behind this recipe? Um, I made this recipe up. You yeah. made this up? I make all the recipes on the show. That's part of the show. You're so talented. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. And That's what I like to hear. Now we're going to take agave. Okay. We're going to take the same little jigger on this little side. Same thing. You're going to go like halfway in between the first line. Okay? Trust okay. me, you don't want it that sweet. All right. Okay? I agree. I'm not a big fan of super sweet cocktails. Right. Brilliant. Brilliant, okay. my dear friend. Okay. Then, this is the real, the coach de if you will. This is prickly pear puree. Um, we're gonna do this with this side, and we're gonna go to the line. You'll see, not to the top, just to the line. Okay. okay. There's agave on here. There you go. I love this color. I know, that's part of the reason why I chose it, because I think the color is gonna be so pretty when we're done. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Take your other jigger. Okay. We're gonna take a little ice. Pour that bad boy in there. All right. Just flip that onto there. Okay. So then you're gonna flip, pour that in. You're gonna hit it like this. Lift. Okay. Shake. How aggressively? Like pretty aggressively. I just wanted to see her face. <laughs> Do that. There you go. Okay. Cool. I feel now official. See if you can get it off. I wanna see what you. If... Wow. Ooh. Look at yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Now you're gonna take that other cup that you rimmed. Okay. You're going to pour. Then it should be like halfway full. Then you're going to fill the rest with soda water. Okay. Wow. That's a beautiful sound. Then you're going to put a little lime on the side. That's good. Then Ooh. we'll do... Whoa! Mine got stick. foamy. You're good. You're good. Look. See? Okay. Wow. Cheers. Rachel, you are probably like the best party hostess. Yeah, do you want to have one? Yes. Mmm. Oh, I love this rim stuff. The rim, everybody loves the rim. Mmm. That is so delicious. I just got that down my boobs. Sexy. Hi, cheers. How's your drink? Cheers. It's fantastic. Oh. Yeah, mm. it's just lovely. Delightful.
Zero big straight girl, huh? I'm a straight girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a straight girl. Have you ever made out with a girl before? I have, yeah. I kissed. It's like all those little <laughs> straight girls have always like made out with stupid women. Yeah. Who was it? This is my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. Oh, sh <laughs> oh, oh, I know. It's weird. It's really, really Cheers. weird. Cheers. That's, a, that's, that's amazing. a really weird story. I um, love that. That's dodgy territory. Dodgy. Like, I, <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I just went for it. I didn't know what to do, so I just did it. <laughs> that's a good story. It's a really good that's story. That's good. All right. Cheers to that story. Cheers. I know. So, um, do you know gay people? <laughs> I do. That's a good thing, right? Do you feel like you're an ally in our world? Oh yeah, in for sure. Community? Do you love us? I do. I mean, I'm from the Bay Area, oh. so we are all about that up there. You're um, I vote for all the things that tax people. You know? <laughs> like, I'm super, super. <laughs> Uh, but also, you know, I don't know if you know this about me, but I was a, a youth mentor at the LGBT Center. You were? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that I thought yeah. you were. Okay, well that's a whole, look guys, she's meant to be gay, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm almost there. You're like basically. almost there. I just want to let you know that I will gladly take you on our team any fucking second. So I just, mean. You just shoot me a text. It would be an honor. It that's really nice. would. That's nice. <laughs> Okay, so you're a very funny lady. You are, you're so funny. You do a lot of stand-up stuff. You're a hilarious comedian. How did you get started in that? Basically, I was producing video content for the startup, and then I got to some writing jokes class because I was doing some show. I did okay. it kind of accidentally and just kept going. Okay, so you're also your podcast. So give me a breakdown of this idea for your podcast because I am so obsessed with this idea. Okay, well, Ghost Hunters is basically a concept where me and this other comedian, Ariel Kashanchi, we uh, investigate instances where people have been ghosted and we uh, <laughs> interview them, we get the whole story, we talk to their friends, their family, and we help them track down and confront the person that ghosted them to get to the bottom of a reason why it happened. So amazing. <laughs> It's really funny. It's a true crime parody, so it's very, you know, it's comedic in nature. It's like, but at the same time, like, we go after that person and we try to really make them explain why they disappeared with no explanation. I think it's fair, right? I think that's fair. Yeah. Don't ghost people. Yeah, it's not a good move. Have you ever ghosted anyone? I actually have. Yeah. I've been on both sides of the ghosting experience and <laughs> it's never fun. <laughs> yeah, let's drink. Ladies? Yes. You both consider yourself posts? I mean, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so. I think I do. Oh, I don't know. So, we are going to have a host off. What does that mean? What if, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. what if Anne's a better host than me on my own show? Does that mean she gets the show? Woo! <laughs> so, I am basically going to read a bunch of cue cards, like a little newscaster. I'm going to go from this camera to this camera. And then back to this camera. Jazz is gonna have cue cards. We're gonna see what happens. Cheers. In entertainment news, Brad Pitt will be playing a ghost stuck in a hot pocket. Dame Judi Dench has been cast as the wise toaster strudel who shows him the true meaning of Christmas. Sandra Bullock will reprise her role of Annie in Speed 3, Taxi Mom Overdrive, directed by Michael Bay. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of uh, Drink Responsibly or Possibly Irresponsibly with Erin Darling. See you guys next time. So tell us where we can find you. <laughs> on Twitter, I'm Erin A. Darling. On Instagram, I'm Darling with four H's. Literally, it's a little annoying sometimes, yes. but so such a good handle. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then uh, Facebook, Erin Darling fan page. That's about it. And you guys listen to her podcast because I'm telling you, it is funny. Yes, Ghosted Hunters on iTunes. It is hilarious. Please subscribe. It's awesome. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. Are you like a little tipsy? Um, yeah. Yay! <laughs>